Did I come up with my name of the tech fan of from Detective Conan? Uh... <laughs> Why would I do such a thing? I mean, sure, I do give this an 8 out of 10. Not because it was love at first sight when I watched this series. I mean, who has time to watch this whole series, especially with 40% of the episodes being fillers? No? Stop it. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. This following video contains spoilers that might upset you if you haven't watched the series. It is advised to avoid this video for your protection of not being spoiled. Also, do know that I most certainly do love the Detective Conan series and the characters, but sometimes life can be boring at times, so it's best to be a bit cringy at times. You have a modern day Sherlock Holmes who is Sinichi Kudo. So basically, he's a detective. Oh, I guess I should add that he's a high school detective. Without him around, the cases wouldn't be solved at all. Why, you may ask? Well, because these guys need a freaking high school kid to solve the case as to how the education and experience works around Vega City. I, uh, I have no clue. Um, I will say, Vega City is not a safe place to live in, so it's a good thing it's a fictional world. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere near that place unless you want to be, you know, deceased. Sinichi is happy in what he does and looks up to a fictional character known as Sherlock Holmes and loves solving cases and always puts the enemies behind bars. However, as he and his childhood friend Ran went to the amusement park, he ran after one of the men in black and caught him in action in what he was doing. But there was just one small problem. Okay, big problem. He forgot about his partner and is now being forced to take a pill down his throat which is supposed to part from this life. But he shrinks into a kid so I guess it's all good, I think. Two times three is six! Two times four is eight! Two times, I don't care. Hmm. He'll be fine. Anyways, he decides to go undercover with an alias name that he calls himself Conan Edagawa. He also now lives with his childhood friend Ran because her father is a private detective and he will need him to be famous so he could get some leads from the men in black that drugged him. However, I think he's just trying to be on Kokoro's good side so that he can refuse all the guys into marrying Ran. Well, except for him. I mean, who knows how long it's going to take for him to go back to his original state for good. It is a thousand plus episodes and he's still Konya Nitagawa. High school detective who outsmarts the police department. And what's even worse is that he's a kid that happens to solve the case for the adults. He likes soccer and loves mystery. A childhood friend of Sinichi who's into karate and may KO Sinichi when Sinichi tells her he's been Conan all along. I don't see him telling her anytime soon. She's also in love with the main character and wouldn't let him choose between her or his love for solving cases because she loves his smile when he solves a case. So she's waiting for him as she promised because she trusts him. Better not fall for another character, Sinichi. A scientist that does many experiments in his house that fails. But the gadget comes in handy for Conan, so I guess those are successful. Conan uses those to solve cases along with the supposedly famous detective Kogoro Mori. A guy who loves to watch TV and drink away. He's good at judo and as a detective he blames a high school kid for not being the greatest detective. <laughs> now the question is, well Conan or Sinichi, be praised by Kogoro for letting him be the greatest detective. Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, Kogoro's life could be in danger. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. 
They are the Junior Detective League, basically Conan's friends that somehow manage to get into dangerous situation and solve cases luckily with Conan, of course. Where the heck are their parents? Also, they like to watch Captain Yaiba. Ran's childhood friend who wants to fall in love with a guy and loves teasing Ran about her love for synergy. Oh, I see I was right. Huh? You're secretly in love with Jimmy. That's uh, crazy talk. Why would I want that mystery freak? The person who's always on the case thanks to Kokoro and Conan. Mostly Conan because he might be a jinx to all these cases. Jen and Farka, the men in black who try to end Sentry's life with the pill known as APTX4869. Yoko, who is known for an idol in the series that will show up time to time. Deiji Oso, is a person that Conan regrets saving and will be mentioned at times in the series. Such a sad series. Yona Matsumoto, a superintendent of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department and McGuire's superior. Yoko Mizo, a detective in Shizuoka City. Takagi-san, a detective that is always with Inspector McGuire in solving cases. Masami Hirota, who Conan decides to let her, well, escape. The Bowtie. It has the ability to imitate all kinds of voices. Power enhancing kick shoes. It uses electricity and magnetic belts to simulate Conan's feet muscles, which allows him to kick objects such as this brick, and etc. The stun gun wristwatch puts people to sleep. I'm hoping he doesn't... Uh, I'm hoping Kogoro is okay, because this just seems like he will most likely be in the hospital because of this. Microphone slash bug. Enabling the bug simmer and listens into the conversation by matching the frequency of his glasses. The portable bento box fax. Capable of calling it causes the fax to open. And I'm pretty sure this only has one episode for this. The detective boys badge. Communicate with each other from a distance. Not sure how far though. Turbo engine skateboard. It goes fast and slows down as the sun goes down because it needs solar power. Criminal tracking glasses. Radar to track down criminals and locate within 20 kilometers radius. Uses the transmitter and puts it on the enemy. Transmitter. It can stick on something or just be a place where the enemy wouldn't notice. Elasticity suspenders. Pressing a button to lift heavy objects. Conan can't even focus on his main goal of capturing the men in black and getting an antidote that will reverse him to his original body. He also needs to make Kokoro a famous detective so he can have leads of the men in black. He makes Ran wait for him and worries her time to time because again, he's so caught up with so much cases that he forgets to call Ran and so, uh, yeah. He's basically trying to please everyone and trying to keep the city safe by putting enemies behind bars. There are some cases that can be sad and some that seem impossible, but it's explained how it is possible. Such as the fishing line. You'll understand if you watch the filler episodes. And yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot.
But one of my favorite episode for season one is Moonlight Sonata. It's one of the most memorable cases I will always remember. I won't go into too much detail, maybe some other time. I'm not sure. Is it my favorite anime? <laughs> It's a good series and it's there to my heart. I do hope you comrades enjoyed this and have a wonderful and an amazing day. I'm not kidding. I love you comrades. Bye!